actually started off at the pendulum about two weeks in the school my freshman year, which would have been the fall of 2012. Um, one of the things I really liked about the organization was that I could really get started and jump in right away. I'd written my first story, I think, three weeks in the school or something like that. Um, and then from there, I became assistant news editor for a year and then spent a year as news editor, and here I am today. A lot of things made me want to apply for the role. Um, starting with the experience that I had with the organization, I've just become more and more heavily invested in it year to year to the point where I felt like I was capable of taking on more of a leadership responsibility. I don't think that it would have been possible without the experience of news editor and gaining those planning skills and people skills and really getting an inside view of how the organization works and functions. And from there, I just thought it was something that I could perhaps take a little further. It's a college newspaper. We're short staffs. I think a lot of times people don't know just how hard we work. Um, you know, it, it can be really stressful sometimes, particularly when a big story is breaking and no one necessarily wants to talk to you. Um, I can think of one particular instance from this past fall in my news editor role, uh, going around and trying to track down the stories about mold outbreaks on campus and having a really short time frame to deal with that. And it was obviously a controversial situation. So really, anything that's breaking is always a challenge, but I am grateful that we have a really motivated staff here and people that truly know what they're doing and who truly care about what they're doing, and that makes the whole process that much easier. The Pendulum has won several awards in 2014. Among the honors uh, was being named the best non-daily student newspaper in the country by the Society of Professional Journalists. Uh, this award in particular is impressive because it recognizes strong reporting, skilled writing, good design, and a clear editorial stance. Additionally, the pendulum uh, placed in the top 10 in two first competitions, won six more first place regional Society of Professional Journalists awards, uh, was best in show in the North Carolina College Media Association in addition to four more first place awards in that competition. Uh, and then also won first place in a multimedia package competition from the Associated Community Press. The process of applying for these awards is standard and routine throughout all of the competitions. Uh, the student leaders at the Pendulum select the work that they think uh, is best suited for the competition, and that's what we wind up submitting. So it's peers selecting the work of peers. There were many great moments for the Pendulum in 2014, and I don't view awards as great moments. The awards are nice, but that's not why we do the work. Uh, I was most pleased with the Pendulum uh, in a couple of different aspects. Uh, first, they navigated two major transitions last year. They moved back to a weekly publication from a bi-weekly, which they had done for a year and a half, and they changed from a more squared off tabloid size to a larger tabloid size. Those changes in frequency uh, and physical page size were important, uh, and they were difficult to do in just one year's time. In addition to that, I thought the Pendulum did a good job of covering state issues like Moral Monday protests, um, teacher pay, immigration. They covered national issues like the election. They did a great job covering on-campus content. They covered intellectual climate, physical plant backlogs, mold and housing, um, the Masters uh, of Education here at Elon, uh, blue lights on campus and the cost of those, the cost of uh, fire alarms, false fire alarms on campus. So, they did a really nice job weaving in local community coverage with state coverage and national coverage. I think last year's staff did a good job strengthening local coverage. I think they did a better job of embracing the online first mentality that you need to have these days. Uh, and so they laid a really strong foundation on which this staff will build. Um, this year, I'm really excited because this staff features young and veteran reporters and staff members. There's a really great mix in here, and I think that's going to drive the success of the organization. We're going to continue to focus on becoming a web-first uh, news organization. They'll need to renew their emphasis on social media, but I think they'll do those things and continue to promote their hard news content, uh, and that will make them a strong organization. 
and any student at ELOC who's interested in journalism should really come to the pendulum 